The problem of the deficit of junior officers is getting worse in Russia. In connection with this, military training centers for platoon commanders, artillery battery commanders and deputy company commanders are being created on the basis of civilian universities in the Russian Federation. This was reported by the main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine. Russia's large-scale losses at the front among junior officers are forcing the Russian Federation to make further attempts to expand the scope of their training, the GUR stated. It is noted that by the end of 2024, Russia plans to launch 33 new military training centers in addition to the almost 100 existing ones. Such activation of Russian leaders indicates that the personnel crisis of the command staff of the occupied army is worsening, the GUR added. They also emphasized that a junior officer in the Russian army primarily serves as an infantry driver for an assault directly on the battlefield, which explains the high level of losses and the acute shortage of lieutenants in the Russian Federation. Recall, Russia aims to increase its armed forces to 1.5 million personnel, largely to justify higher military spending. The Kremlin, however, faces difficulties achieving this target. As the war in Ukraine continues to cause tremendous casualties, rapidly depleting Russia's supply of manpower. Despite stable enrollment numbers in military academies and recruitment from civil universities, Russia continues to struggle with a shortage of low- and mid-ranking officers. The temporary growth of the officer corps, fueled by the partial mobilization, may reverse once mobilization ends. Moscow is expanding military schools and programs for children and teenagers, aiming to create a Soviet-style military system that can be quickly mobilized despite the technological weaknesses of Russia's military-industrial complex. The Russian High Command has been trying to increase recruitment in military colleges, institutes, universities and academies since the second half of the 2010s. These tactics alone, however, will not solve the manpower issue for the foreseeable future. Thus, the Russian military leadership is trying to recruit more future officers from among the students at civil universities and among the existing contracted soldiers and non-commissioned officers. Besides military colleges, universities and institutes, the Kremlin has increased the number of military training centers in Russian civil universities. U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin arrived in Darwin on Saturday as he began a touring involving stops in Australia, the Philippines, Laos, and Fiji. The U.S. Department of Defense said Austin would meet his counterparts from Australia and Japan while in Darwin. South Korean opposition leader Lee Jae-myung was convicted of violating election law and sentenced to a suspended prison term Friday by a court that ruled he made false statements while denying corruption allegations during a presidential campaign. 
If it stands, the ruling could significantly shake up the country's politics by potentially unseating Lee as a lawmaker and denying him a shot at running for president in the next election. But Lee, who faces three other trials over corruption and other criminal charges, is expected to challenge any guilty verdict and it remains unclear whether the Supreme Court would decide on any of the cases before the presidential vote in March 2027. Lee told reporters that he plans to appeal Friday's verdict at the Seoul Central District Court, which gave him a sentence of one year in prison, suspended for two years. Under South Korean law, Lee would lose his legislative seat and be barred from running in elections for five years if he receives either a penalty exceeding a 1 million won fine for election law violations or any prison sentence for other crimes. Lee, a firebrand liberal who narrowly lost the 2022 election to conservative President Yoon suk Yeol, had steadfastly denied wrongdoing. The ruling at the Seoul Central District Court drew intense media coverage and seemingly thousands of protesters. Surrounded by police lines, Lee supporters and critics occupied separate streets near the court, shouting opposing slogans and holding signs that said Lee Jae Myung is innocent and arrest Lee Jae Myung. There were no immediate reports of major clashes. Prosecutors indicted Lee in 2022 over charges that he made false claims related to two controversial development projects in the city of Songnam, where he was mayor from 2010 to 2018, while campaigning as the presidential candidate for the Democratic Party. One of the comments cited by prosecutors is related to suspicions that Songnam City in 2015 changed the land use designation to allow a housing project on a site previously preserved as green space due to lobbying by private developers. Lee said during a parliamentary hearing in October 2021 that the city was instead coerced by the national government to make the change to the site in the district of Baekyeondong. Prosecutors say there's no evidence to back Lee's claim, which has been denied by the Ministry of Land, Infrastructure, and Transport. Prosecutors also cited a TV interview Lee gave in December 2021, when he said he didn't know a senior official at Songnam City's urban development arm during his time as mayor. Lee spoke a day after the official was found dead amid an investigation into a property development project in the district of Daejeongdong which reaped huge profits for a small asset management firm and its affiliates and raised suspicions about possible corrupt links between them.